Welcome back to the channel for episode three of six speed swapping our 22 WRX. In the last episode, we did get the stock diff out, the drive shaft, the axles, and we did get the R180 STI diff in with those axles. So in today's episode, we're gonna be working on the front of the car. We're gonna first get the wheels taken off, get the fluid drained out of the transmission, and we're gonna work on getting this trans out of the car. Once we get this transmission out, we'll be putting in our OEM STI flywheel, and our ACT clutch. So we have a lot in store for this episode. Enough talking, let's get to work. Let's go. with everything drained and the wheels taken off. Next, we're gonna work on getting this axle taken off. It's the same 32 mil nut uh, for the axle nut right there. Um, we're gonna disconnect the strut, maybe the end link, probably not the end link, but we are gonna mark the top bolt. The top bolt is a camber bolt. Um, so we do wanna make sure we put that in the same way. So I'm just gonna mark it on the strut and uh, on the bolt to make sure when we put this all back together with the STI axle, um, we don't need to get an alignment afterwards. So let me get you guys set up and we'll get this axle taken out. With that quick little time lapse done, we do have one of the axles out. So it's this bad boy right here. So you can just see side by side just from the one comparison. The STI one is definitely much beefier. As far as the length goes, yeah, these are it's like these are a little, yeah, a little short too, but I mean we're gonna throw them in, we're gonna see. We're gonna see if they fit, but everyone else has been using these front ones too. So I don't think we're gonna have an issue just like with the rears, we had no issues. But to take this axle out, it was just that 32 mil nut right here. We had the 219 on the strut. I did disconnect our brake line and then just unclip um, our speed sensor right here. And that was enough to let it fall forward. Um, and then I could pull it, the axle out the back here. And then I just used uh, this little crowbar here and just like, pulled it out of the trans so you can see there it was so we're going to replicate this on the other side we're going to get the other axle taken out same procedure 32 mil nut to take off the axle the 219s 12 mil here and then this little guy and we should be able to just pull that axle out so let me get you guys set up and we'll get that axle taken out let's go So we got that axle taken out all the way through transmission. So let's go back over here and we will look at all the WRX axles because we have all of the stock axles out. You see the pink STI ones next to it. You see the STI ones a little bit beefier. It's also slightly shorter, but I'm not sure if the transmission's wider or not. We will obviously compare once we get this transmission out 
But I think we're done working under the car for a little bit. We're going to actually start working up here. I'm going to get the ETS uh, front mount pipe off and we're going to take the starter out, the clutch slave out. Before we do any of that, we are going to disconnect the negative terminal. We haven't disconnected it yet since we haven't really, we haven't taken anything electrical off the car. It's all been just nuts and bolts, mechanical stuff. So we're going to take this electrical connector off since we are going to be unplugging and disconnecting the starter. So let me get you guys set up and we'll start working up top here. Get you guys updated on what we did so we got obviously the charge pipe off for the front mount um, we did get the starter out we got the ig pinch mount out uh, and we got our slave off it's just pushed to the side over there so the last thing to do uh, obviously is just to get the bell housing bolts off and take the trans cross member off but before we do that we do need to get the shift linkage and everything taken out so let's jump on the inside. Let's disassemble the uh, inside real quick just so we get that shifter assembly out. So we got our stock shifter assembly out. So if you go, if you look inside the car now, we can see straight through it. So we just got the cables pushed through the little hole there, the two holes on this back side, and then these two clips. Those two clips are actually a pain to get off. I had to use that breaker bar to like pry them off. So looking up here. Looks like the only thing left to do is basically disconnect the uh, bolts on the for the bell housing on the trans and the trans cross member. And this thing should be ready to go. We do have this one ground wire I do see here. So there might be one or two one of those. I'm going to check real quick, see if there's any extra ground wires or anything I need to take off. I already got these uh, clips out right here. So that's good to go. Obviously, the pinch stop is out. We're basically ready to get this thing pulled. Uh, I'm going to start taking some of these bolts out and I'm going to leave the uh, cross member in right now just so obviously it doesn't drop or anything. But um, let's get these bolts taken off on the bell housing and I'll catch up with you guys in just a minute. All right, so all the bell housing bolts are out. Got them all in their locations of where they came out. So last thing to do is just take off that transmission cradle. I do have the trans jack ready, so I'm gonna get this wheeled under. I'll get it uh, secured to the trans and we'll start unbolting everything. And just looking up here, since this is a brand new car, you can already see it's already starting to split. I can put like my fingernail in between it. Could probably fit a flathead in there if I wanted to, but obviously it's not gonna fall out since so it's still bolted to the car, but it is already splitting, so that's a good sign that it's not gonna give me very much trouble to disconnect it from the motor. So we get you guys set up under the car. Um, we're gonna get this trans jack put under and we'll get this trans pulled out. Let's go.
right, let me get you guys caught up on what we did on that long time lapse. We got the transmission out. We got the stock clutch and the flywheel out. So it is ready for the STI flywheel and the pressure plate. We actually need to install this bad boy first. So this is the uh, clutch dust shield. So this goes on the bottom. There is one on the car. It's just two 10 mils. Um, so I'm gonna, I'll just go under and take that off real quick and we'll bolt that on. And then the uh, stock STI flywheel can go on and then we'll get the ACT clutch and pressure plate installed. But this is how everything looks. I was looking at the stock clutch. Uh, I hope it picks it up on camera, but you can see there. Yeah, you can. It, this is a, the stock clutch is a Exeti. And there's the part number. So I'm actually really surprised the clutch actually doesn't look bad. Clutch is actually in good condition. There's a lot of life left on it. So you can see, you can see all like the, how much life is left. Cause you can see the rivets and how much is there. And then yeah, stock flywheel, nothing special there, but everything looks really good. So, I mean, the stock clutch and everything was really holding up. It was definitely on, I was definitely pushing the limit at, I mean, we're over 400 wheel, uh, torque and horsepower and this is a stock clutch so i mean this thing it took everything it never slipped it was great but on to bigger and better things we got our new act clutch once we get this flywheel installed and the clutch installed we are going to call it a day on episode three so let me get under the car and let's get this plate swapped out for the clutch sorry for the flywheel and then we'll get the flywheel and clutch put on let's go we made it end of episode three we have the transmission out let me show you guys we got the act act clutch oem flywheel everything is on and torqued down you saw in the time lapse i torqued it down like four or five times i'm just super paranoid about it backing out or anything like that i did put blue loctite on everything uh, the wife came out helped me uh, she was passing me the bolts uh, as she was putting loctite on them and she actually held the crank for me um, while I torqued everything down. So huge shout out to the wife uh, for helping me out on this one. Let's get back up. But we finished episode three. Everything is in um, as far as the ACT clutch. We got the transmission out and everything. Now this is the first time I've ever removed a transmission by myself, let alone on my own car. So the only reason I'm telling you guys that is because anyone can do this project. You have the right tools. This is just a Harbor Freight transmission jack, nothing special. I just got some regular hand tools and everything and then a Ryobi uh, impact gun. And I just have all my attachments for that. Well, if you guys are liking this content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also like this video. We will be having the next episode coming out shortly. Um, we will get the transmission put in in the next episode. And we'll go from there. See you guys.